you gotta send it back to them and then they gotta check it out and they send you another one. Well, Dan, here's the deal. I'm the best there is, plain and simple. Well, I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence. Thank you. And nobody can hang with my stuff. Just a, just a big, hairy American winning machine. If you ain't first, you're last. Nope. Hello, I'm Jensen. What's going on, everybody? I hope you're having a great day. If you're new to this channel, make sure you like and subscribe. So I'm about to head over to City Alignment Conquer right now to go check out that noise that the drive shaft was making. That little, that little pinging, tinging. I don't even know how to describe the noise, but it was like a, li a little tiny ting when I... <laughs> It, it, it still gets me every time I say that. It's like a little tiny tapping noise when I pull off from a stop or when I come to a stop, but it doesn't happen every single time. So I don't know what it could be, but we're about to head up there and check it out anyway. So first let's do a cold start. My shit is dirty. Shit. All right, SR Garage, I'm coming soon. <laughs> It's on video if you f my shit up. Nah, don't do that. Yeah. Figure out what the fuck going on. Oh, I think it's this right here. It's probably the exhaust hitting this. Would it be? Be this little tiny team. That again? Nah, nah. fuck no. Nah. I could maybe try to pull up a video of the noise. Need that? Yeah, let me see. Oh my god. So they're putting the wheels in the air to try to replicate the noise. Let's see if we can find out what it is. Right. It might need to be like under load to get that noise going. You know? right. I'm pretty sure it's this right here because that mark wasn't there before, you know? What mark? This is, this is where it's rubbing right there. It's a little bit better. Can't really find out where the noise is coming from. Bent this back just in case that's what the noise is that hitting. Because that is a new mark. Can't really figure out what's going on. Maybe that little heat shield did the did the trick. Who knows? Take it for a test drive and see.
prognosis. motion sickness <laughs> so every time it goes in a drive or reverse that's what the noise comes from God damn. and that's kind of the same noise can't figure out what's going on because nothing's hitting i'm doing my little research so description it has come to our attention this fool is calling dry shaft shop directly i like it i like it i already talked to them on the phone so he explained me that there's a joint right here so remember that mesh 3.5 right here yeah so that's what you're supposed to do you're supposed to mesh from here to here it should be uh between 3.25 to 75 so we're like dead on like 3.5 okay so what he said is there shouldn't be any play in it. If you move this one, like what you gotta do is kind of like check it like this. Mm -hmm. If it moves like this, mm -hmm. it shouldn't be doing that. It should be just one piece, like just straight. Yeah. So now when we put, let me see, cause this is kind of, so. You see, you see how it's moving right now? Yeah. And I'm like grabbing this right here. So it, it does like, it's kind of like lock. That's the sound that you hear, but louder. Yeah, for sure. So what he said is that you got to pretty much, you got to send it back to them. And then they got to check it out and they send you another one. Damn. So I'm pretty sure that's the problem. I mean, he already said it. To me. So look, I grab it here just to kind of explain it like that. Go. Go again. Yeah, that's definitely that little ping mm -hmm. noise too. That's exactly the noise. Never run into a problem with this ones like that. I always put them on. So it's a defect in the drive shaft. Mm-hmm. Damn. Oh, well, found it. <laughs> God. I mean, the jack is just crazy because, look, this exhaust, like, this right here, does. yeah, it's kind of close to it. Maybe this one, but this this, this it's not going to Yeah, make it's not going to make a tingy noise. You know? You know what I was telling him, and he told me, too, is, like, every time you put it in drive, you gotta, you gotta think about the transmission and the, just the drive shaft. You put it in drive, and then it moves, right? When you put it in reverse, that's when it makes the sound. Mm -hmm. you, can, you know, like actually, like, like yeah. this. So, so we gotta put the stock one back on. Nah, uh, maybe tomorrow, yeah. That's crazy. That sucks. I'm not gonna lie. Well, damn. Was not expecting to have to put the stock one back in. Uh, but at least they're gonna fix it and send another one out. That's not not the end of the world, but hopefully it doesn't take them three months to send another drive shaft back out. When are you getting your axles? The 23rd? I think I'm pretty sure they're having a They might come back like same time. Cause they'll, they'll probably just ship me a brand new one, huh? Yeah. yeah, they won't like rebuild that one or anything, so. So at least we figured out what that noise is. Yeah. Why are you gripping the steering wheel like Dominic Toretto? <laughs> thank you i'll be it's back like, tomorrow like so we'll come back tomorrow and get the stock drive shaft put on so even though it's bad news at least we found out what the noise is it's like the little cv joint in the drive shaft that's actually has some play so we're just going to send it back to the drive shaft shop and then they're going to send out a new one kind of a kind of a bummer for sure for sure but you know it happens these are machine things machines break so it's expected but anyway that's pretty much the end of this video thank you guys for watching i appreciate it make sure you like subscribe comment share hit the bell thumbs up all that stuff i'll see you in the next video Doses.